another Ubisoft game. That is, uh... I don't know if I've done that many, it's just a Far Cry 4 left such an impression. How long will I survive? Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Zombie. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's written in the same way as the Lucio Fulci, uh, or whatever his name is. Uh, those movies, isn't it? Like Zombie Flesh Eaters, my favorite one. Um, zombie is a first-person um, zombie game. You survive in a zombie-infested uh, London, I believe. Uh, the interesting game mechanic, it's like a little bit first per- uh, it's first person, it has a little bit of like inventory management. But you see there, I played it for uh, a little bit last November, or for like, like a year ago. I played it for eight hours apparently. I played six survivors. So every time you die, you start playing as a new person. Which is a really interesting game mechanic. Is this like an actual cutscene? No, this is just showing me gameplay. Well, yeah, this, these are all the exciting things you can look forward to in this wonderful game. It's really cool, as far as I remember. Oh no, this is me continuing my previous save. Well, um, just gonna quickly fix that. Um, just delete that save. This is off to just a great start. And yeah, normal mode. Uh, select difficulty, chicken, or standard. Uh, the only diff difference seems to be leaderboard participation. Or maybe it's just so easy that you don't get your score upload. Let's just go for standard. Sorry about this meandering start. Damn. That's pretty heavy. The alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. I don't know if that opening um, speech there is gonna make sense. But could Black Angels be referring to um, Kraus? Is that it? The Kraus of uh, the Tower of London? When they leave it, London shall fall. Isn't that it? I seem to remember something like that from uh, the first stages of Neo. I guess this is the guy I'm playing as, or... Hey, over here. Come down into the station. Yes, you. I've got eyes on you. Follow my voice. In the tube. Don't just stand there gulping. Hurry! And we're off. Oh, I have to hold down the joystick to sprint. That's strange, but okay. Press and hold. Gotcha. 
Keep going. Crouch with axe. Also unfamiliar territory. Did it. Survival. Good. Number one survivor. Empty. Let's barricade myself in here. Can I? Nah. Can't call anyone. On the telephone. No. I feel like... There's probably nothing to loot here. What am I? Just, just keep going. And the background ambience just disappeared. Hold down the joystick to run. And that's the game. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, it was exhilarating. It felt good um, running away from the zombies and... Uh, we really are living in a golden age of video games. Immersive experiences and uh Wakey wakey. <laughs> you don't look so good. I would say it's only a nightmare, but isn't everything these days? It's a good thing I found you when I did. Welcome to the safe house. My friends call me the prepper. You know why? Because I'm always prepared. You might not believe it, but I knew this was coming a long time ago. Now, see that device on the workbench with the screen? Pick it up. Uh, which device is that? I'm looking at the workbench here, fella. Oh, is that clearly labeled with the triangle there? Uh, use key card. Oh, okay. Of course. Okay, he built that himself. He calls it the prepper pad. It's a smart map with a raider and a connection back to him. So he can watch over me and I'll need it. Better sort the lights out. There's a generator in the toilet. See the green light on your smart map? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, is that the quest marker he's referring to? Yeah, key card required, of course. Where do I get that? Man, already. I have no idea of how to progress. Oh, I'll go for a sleep. Fucking Jesus. Off to a great start. Um, I'm thinking I need to pick up uh, a keypad. By activating the generator, I guess that's something I do here. Okay, that's a button. I used to just turn quickly around. No one sneaks up on me. And I guess that's the prefer pad. Is that what he called it? Strange that his voice just kind of like disappeared there. So activate the generator. I can climb through here. I assume. Alright, there we go. Activate the shit out of that. Didn't need no key cards or nothing. Get mission brief. Yep. Uh, am I reading all of these now? You see, the last person I tried to help went outside without the pad. But there's something else you can use. That backpack is a B.O.B. Bug out bag. See? You need it and that's... And what's inside? I really wish he would, like, voice these lines. I'm feeling I'm gonna miss something here. Previous guy got eaten. Cannot interact with that note. 
Yeah. Well, it's the, the lights are on and um, he turned, he unlocked this door for me. Um, to toggle high beam. Oh, now I see. I don't think I ever utilized that feature playing it originally. What was this called? The prepper pad? I can use this to scan my environment for lootable containers, doors, uh, zombies. It's um, really helpful. Also kind of a nuisance. It's kind of because you can't move while using it. You have to just stand still. But then again, like when you die, it's there's some aspect of permadeath to what's going on here. So it is, uh, it's a good way to scout ahead and uh, try to stay clear of... Uh, Enemy threats. The zombie, the, the infested horde. This does not seem safe at all. Good. It's the bug out bag within this area. Is that now might be a good time to try out your radar. Press triangle to ping your radar. Sorry, a bit, bit dense. This is not... Okay, yeah. Go on, pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. Why is he not voicing his lines? There we go. Because if you go into that piece, you don't want to do the same for oh. you. R2 to strike. Really not getting this, am I? I'm just trying to. Oh, I hold it down and then I press to attack. Sorry. Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that bulb. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely going to need. Yeah, okay. The issue there was that I had uh, his audio going out to the PlayStation 4 speaker. So hopefully you'd still be able to hear it on the recording. I don't know for a fact, though. I assume not. Put this uh, there. It's assigning quick slots to everything. There we go. Good work. You've got to keep this place clean if you want to survive. Alrighty. So yeah, this game gets pretty uh, interesting. Exploring London as it's infested by zombies. Uh, you go to like play fucking places like Buckingham Palace. You're Twenty hours awake, and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. What? Oh, yeah. I'm just getting chastised there. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Yeah, you go to, like, underground military bunkers, um, medical bunkers. Um, where else do you go? Like, the Tower of London. You get an AK-47. At least as far as I remember, I got an AK-47. So a lot, a lot of stuff to look forward to, like I said. So where am I going now? Yeah, right, quest marker. Let's do it. Let's cross over. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. I want to close that so no zombies get in. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. All right. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. 
I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. Please do. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. All right, so who am I playing here? Let's have a look. My uh, notebook, my map, my skills, my ID. I'm George Ward. I'm 32 years old. Um, game designer. All right, and I've been alive for 10 minutes. That's uh, good going so far. I'm assuming George Ward is someone who worked on this game, but maybe it's just a random coincidence, and I uh, just started a random survivor who just happened to be a game designer. I don't, I don't think so, but yeah. All right, now I'm just just going back out the way I came in. Just I came back here to have a look at the cameras, I guess. I wouldn't say that this is um, completely representative of what's going on sec, in this game. Thank yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where I emerged from. That's where I got my cricket bat. It, it gets more interesting. I'm kind of eager to get to the later parts of the game. I uh, played it for like eight hours. Got a fair bit into it, but never completed it so let's have a look at our proper pad that is uh an infected no items to loot you'd think that i would hate this and i kind of do like tagging enemies is not really my favorite thing in video games introduce the ass like the whole element of permadeath though it's a bit more i feel it's almost a bit more fair or whatever it's just an incredibly unrealistic Gameplay mechanic and the game that I guess like with permadeath and stuff otherwise has certain aspects of realism But yeah, it just gives you kind of like a little bit of an upper hand Though I mean like I don't really Know if there's any disadvantage to dying. I think you need a key card to get out There's bound to be one somewhere at that station Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area Perimeter looks calm, but now. I, um, I think you level up your survivor. As you keep, like, killing zombies with different weapons and stuff, you level up your ability to use those weapons. So when you die, you go kind of, like, back to square one. And also, like, the surv you lose all your equipment, but the survivor that you just played as turned it turns into a zombie. So if you can successfully track them down and kill them, or their zombie... You'll, uh, you'll get their gear. Or the gear that you had previously before dying. That door is locked. Oh, that is, there's just no. Alright, lady. Push them away. And then you just keep hitting them. Oh, and then I pull down that to finish it. I have time to loot, don't I? It's a little health item. Do I feel bold? Let's just squeeze a few up. Incoming. Check your radar. Is that stupid? Probably. Should I nail a barricade? Probably. Need hammer. Well, at least there's my excuse for not doing it. There we go. And there I got a hammer and some wood. Or that is barricaded. He said I had incoming. Let's just have a quick one over, see if there's any items. Doesn't look like it. Real thorough search here. Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, nothing to loot in here. Let's just move on. What are we doing now? Quest marker. Alright, let's go. 
safe house is my handiwork. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped oh. fortify places like this, because we knew this was coming. As far as I remember from playing this uh, last time, that's uh, the Ravens of D, that's John D. The guy who uh, made Enochian, like the language spoken by angels, supposedly. I think he was an alchemist, maybe an astrologist. Some sort of relation with the queen, I do not remember. But I think, uh, I think he plays pretty heavily into what's going on in this game. That's kind of genuinely unnerving. That looks creepy as fuck. Except for, like, awful shorts. I guess they're the most unsettling part about that whole grotesque display. Let's just, I want to see if there's some items. This is the place that the developers were like, no one's ever going to go down here. This is where we hide the BFG, guys. Let's put some fun little secrets down here for the inquisitive player. See, it's the exit. Exit. So I guess I'm going back up there to check out what, I mean like exit, that sounds so final. I mean it's where I'm going according to the quest marker, so. There's just so much shit to explore here. Is this all pointless what I'm doing now? Oh, we're back here. Ah, that makes perfect sense now. It's like a Skyrim dungeon. It just all routes lead to entrance slash exit. Not entirely true, but it kind of loops around. You you get what I was trying to say. All right, let's just exit then. Oh, I can skip it. Man, I was just sat there staring off into space being like, oh, they named the street after James Long Bond and Mr. Jackal, and Mr. Hyde, I mean. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. Sorry. He even tried to find a cure, the panacea. But it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone, there's no cure for this. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to say whether or not you, you can you can cure what I'm encountering here. Use your scan to scan that door and I'll hack it. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. For your I'll safety. You free to come and go now. Thanks, mate. Okay. And we're out. Someone hung up Christmas lights? Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. Shit ton of infected over there. Unless they're uh, just corpses. Anything to loot in here? It's almost like it would take me less time to just try to loot it. This is a kind of interesting environment for, like, uh, what is, I guess, essentially a survival horror game, but what, to me, is, like, kind of laid out like an action game. A bit of a slow-paced one, and a bit of a sluggish, like, uh, uh, I guess, like, yeah, its controls are sluggish. At least for, like, a first-person shooter. Th those were not infected, those were just some birds. Just nothing to loot. I guess I should just... Ugh. Is there anything in this container? No, I can't loot that. There's something that's alive down that way, though. Hmm. That's an item. Cool. Like the setting of kind of um, 
an inner city city residential area. Working junction box, by the way. That's a camera hub. In case you've never noticed one before. Excellent. I got gotcha. you. Map's been updated. Without a good map, you're a goner out there. It st started chastising me. Like, just, just you can just be like, oh man, that there's one there. Unless you've never seen one before. That was my attempt at doing his accent. I thought it was good. For for a first go at it, I thought it sounded alright. It didn't sound like him, but it, it didn't sound like me either, so I was successfully like and like audio visually transitioning into becoming something else. I was entering into the, the realms of make believe. Just welcome to the, the sort of commentary that you're going to be hearing on this video game. If anyone made the misfortune of clicking this video, I'm pretty pretty sure they never got to this point. So from now on, I'm good to just say whatever I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready to face down a bloody horde? Eh, it's no. Life. I don't know why I was so reluctant to just, like, keep on going past that. Junction box, whatever it was called. Just have a look. There's an item up there. Throwing flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? That. Yeah. This kind of like these environments in a game. Um. Like this. I mean, I don't really. I don't feel like I see that too often. Just like homes or. Um, kind of realistic suburban environments. I mean, I guess you do in, in Grand Theft Auto, kind of, and... Yeah, no, I guess you do. It's still just really interesting to me. Need C4 to open the cracked wall. There was nothing in there. I'll slide under. That's a safe house, I'm assuming. Oh no. Put on some pants. Put on some knickers. Oh yeah, and then I hold to finish it. To end this mean business. Uh, yup. Let's just move on to that safe house then. I want him assuming it's a safe house. Either she quick his way back to the safe house. Have a gander. Sometimes retreat is your best option. What is this newspaper business? Scholars warn of 400 year old prophecy. Britain's own Nostradamus predicts blight for 2017, 2012, 2017. I guess those are the only two ones I have. Eh, might be checking those out. Seems like uh, they're pretty uh, connected to what's going on in the story. Of course they would be. What am I saying? I guess, I mean, like, since they're newspaper headlines, it's kind of thinly veiled what's going to be going on. But from what I remember, it does get a little bit, like, uh, involved. Like, it, it features, like, John D. I guess predicting the end of the world and uh, somehow zombies and the crows was that was it the the crows of the london tower what was it? it was the ravens was that what he said mm, i don't think i want to go to the safe house yeah i think i want to just keep going to the the mission Need lockpick. Alright. Got it. Triangulate. Oh, 
It's inside the supermarket. Be careful. Oh. That gets a bit tiresome having to finish it all the time. Nice. So far, so good. But I guess uh, it's not going to last for that long. I'm going to be struggling. And just a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat this game. Uh, or how many survivors I'm going to go through. I'm going to try to hold on to them for as long as I can. To make sure they survive for. As long as I can make them survive. Um, Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking in your blind spots. I'll be cutting these um, into like one hour long episodes. Pick up. Flare. So I should probably try to use the flare, huh? So I, I want to crouch, but also I, I use X to pick up stuff. So I guess that's not maybe my crouch button. Or am I already crouching? I can't tell, honestly. Um, so let me just check my backpack since my inventory is full. Just that one bullet there. It's annoying. Equip that. It's just, it's kind of cute, just pushing that box around like a like a little dog. Oh, it's because someone, uh, someone cut off their leg. I'm, I was saying. Oh man, just not hitting it at all. Hopefully that got him. I don't think so. That was a that was a miserable throw and a half. Nah, that was two miserable throws and then some. There we go. Zombies can't climb ladders. So I don't have to finish that. That's all right. So I think I can shoot the animals to uh, get like rotten meat or something. That'll help me survive. But yeah, I'm not gonna. Or should I? If it helps me survive. I think I might get sick off eating it as well. So for now, I'm just gonna hold off. Ugh. I thought that guy was labeled as... No, they're just labeled as zombies, I guess. Potential threats. Let's keep going into the supermarket. Oh no. It was rigged to the alarm. Get inside before every blighter from miles around comes running. Wait, what? All right. <laughs> Can I nail barricade? I need a hammer for that, huh? Oh, nice. Just put a bar there. were probably responding to the supermarket's alarm, but they've got bigger problems now. How do I crouch? Yeah, not getting a good read on uh, how to crouch. I'm just gonna. Oh shit! Quickly check it out. There's no crouch. That's uh, it's kind of cool actually. Like, why would you wanna try to sneak around a zombie? It's like a ridiculous um, evasive maneuver in a setting like this. I feel. But what is going on with this, huh? 
Holy shit, it feels like I'm, like, I've been awake for 40 hours straight. Like, just... Like, I'm so hungover. I don't even want to be alive. Maybe I should, uh, fire up my old, uh, proper thingy-majig. There's a lot of items around there. It's a pity I can't pick them up. What's that? Um, handgun ammo. Okay, we'll pick that up. Some planks for barricading. No, thank you. I don't have a hammer. That's right. I'm going into the store. Oh shit. That's cool. Ugh. Uh can I use that? I, the, I should be able to just drink it right out of our pocket. Shouldn't have to Oh fuck me. Trying to use the D-pad to navigate around in this um inventory menu and you just start assigning things to like hot buttons because the D-pad is what you use to just quickly change from one weapon or item to another. Let me just pick up that health juice. And we are in. Shit. Find a hammer. You're gonna need to rip the planks off some doors. There we go. Hammer. Found a hammer. While you're there, stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it. <sighs> I should have gone back to the safe house and just dropped off my gun and my ammunition or something. So I wasn't lugging around so much shit. Let's have a look here. I thought... See, there I did it again. Like, assigned the soda to the gun button. What is it I uh, don't need here? Like... I can drop the planks. The flares are all right. I don't really use one flare, I guess. Um, man, I have uh, a lot of uh, bullets for the gun now. It really saves you, like, the trouble of having to just fucking walk around just this boundless open store area. It, it saves me from having to, like, spend too much time just engaging with my environment. Though I am, I like, on record being like, I don't really like tagging in video games. I think it's more alright to just kind of, like, expect or, like, make the visual design accommodate um, players who are attentive to their surroundings, or whatever. You got what I'm trying to say. It's something I say a surprising um, amount, I'm realizing now. Maybe people don't get what I'm trying to say. Maybe I should try to be more to make myself understood. You see how it cuts away a lot of time for me. And also, I'm not quite sure if I feel like it takes that much away from the actual gameplay. Like, I don't... Fuck me. At least now I'm gonna get to use some of those sodas that I've been hoarding up and some of this cake that I got. Ugh. I don't feel like, um... That don't sound good. At all. I don't feel like being able to quickly, um... Like, check my environment for things I can, um... Pick up or use, or zombies that I have to fight is not bad, like I've already said. With the... Mechanics that are already in play, like with the survivors and leveling up and stuff like that. It works pretty alright, like, um... 
if you if you're cautious then um, seemingly you'll do you'll do all right in this game I think the first time I died um, was um, blowing myself up with a grenade on accident I think I'll be getting to that part pretty soon well, I'll be walking around a military barricade around the Buckingham Palace I think you get like a car buying some grenades. I think you get some heavy duty stuff there. I'm not quite sure. Let's, uh, I'm excited for it though. Where's this lady? When you find the box, link the pad up to bring the cameras back online. Some really, I fucking love uh, these environments. Like walking around in. Uh, Sorry, these kind of like unremarkable, um, mundane environments. I mean, this is pretty much like a sewer level, kind of. But still, it, there's just something to, um, the layout of it. Where everything just feels so worn down and, uh, what the fuck is that? Is it bear or... Hmm. I don't really want to throw anything away, but I guess the flare is what's going on. Just so I can check out what this is. Nice, yeah. I... Sometimes you just can't beat the classic. Inventory is full. I get a bigger backpack at some point, I think. But yeah, all right. Let's just uh, make space for that. The flare can stay. Forget to scan the junction box. Oh, down there? You told me to do that, didn't you? And then I just kind of, like, ignored you. Sorry. Um, I was thinking, like, Dying Light and, um... What is it called? Dead Island? They all kind of, like, do the same thing where they're in, like, relatively... Um... Not commonplace, like, not normal surroundings in one sense, but... CCTV cameras are back online. Every time you scan one of those junction boxes, I'll hack it and update your smart map. Take a look at your pad. No, that's my... How do I take a look at my pad? What's my pad again? D don't, don't. I, I lit that and then I deftly extinguished uh, the wick or the rag or whatever. How do I go to my pad here? My map, my ID, my missions, my proper pad. Yeah, that's my, my proper pad. Yeah, I have no idea what he wanted me to look at. But yeah, those uh, games are sat in kind of like, um, like one is in a hotel, the other one is in like. Um, Good. Now find your way back to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. Is it a, a village or a town or um, dying light is set in? It's a city, isn't it? But yeah, you get to traverse, like, environments that aren't, like, fantastical or otherworldly. Or, like, you get to go to malls and apartment complexes. And I just, I don't know. I find it kind of interesting. There's always something uh, strange to me about um, s these simulated environments that are supposed to uh, closely resemble our own. making enough noise to raise the dead. Get out of there! Turn back around. Oh, I can't jump. That's a problem. Oh, shit. I have to hold it down to run. Just remember that. I right, want to bring that back up, actually. I bring this up. 
Oh yeah, fire doesn't put them down at all. That's off to you. Oh, that was... That was quick. Alright, I survived for 40 minutes. That's, uh... That's not very good. Wonder who I'm gonna be playing now. I guess this is our first, like, real survivor. So you made it back. Now, you may have noticed a box in the main room with a raven symbol on it. Time to show you how it are you prepared. <gasps> Get up! I've spotted a horde of blighters heading your way. You've only got a few moments to prepare. Now move! He just said it there, Raven symbol. So it's the Ravens of D. It's um, not the Kraus of the Tower of London. It's Ravens. Um, let's see here. Our ID. Scarlet Murray. We're um, 30 years old and a pub owner. Well, let's get going, Scarlet. Is she Bill Murray's daughter? Don't have a key card, I guess. All right. The Black Prophecy. So just I think it's just a note I uh, found. The Black Prophecy. Arise a new utopia in Londinium. Those men who live through the cleansing fire shall be its masters. For the others, hell and fire will be their soul's reward. So are we uh, entering into the days when men will uh, lust for death, or what was it it said in the beginning? They won't be able to, but death will flee from them. And they will be forced to be zombies. Oh, I can skip this. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with my brain? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit tense now. Am I going to be able to get my equipment back? I used two Molotov cocktails and it didn't. It did me nothing. It did me no good. Am I gonna? How am I gonna do this with the zero amount of of anything that I have going for me? All right. What are we dealing with here? So just that one guy. Alright. He's got one handgun bullet. It just feels like there's someone to my left there. I don't want any nasty surprises. Let's just nip that in the bud. I like your outfit, lady. We're a little bit of like a Lara Croft here. It's gonna be some sexy survival. Not sure if I like your um, skirt, though. I think you should have gone with some uh, hot pants, but yeah. Zombies will be able to grab onto the skirt and it will be a tactical disadvantage. Uh, this is not the direction I want to walk. Fudge, am I going? Oh, that's uh, this is not. At least I can hear the alarm going off there. Positive. This guy is loot positive, so uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna need that. Congratulations, sir. Uh, the tests have come back and uh, you're loot negative. Pick, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. What is that item? It's an item. Much too good for the likes of me.
I'm not sure if I should be here. I'm not even sure if this sounds like the direction I want to be going. Bug me. I don't think it does. Molotov, let's assign that to a hotkey. I have a pistol as well, I didn't realize. Let's reload that bad boy. Pop off some shots at that punk. Is that one of those um, keypad doors? That I can... Uh... It's only four digits. I would be able to brute force it if I just sat here for forever with an old pad. But yes, yeah, so there's something clever in my environment. Am I supposed to scan my environment with... Uh... The proper pad, and then it'll give me the key code. Uh, is that fucking written in a no quin or what? It's an arrow. I think those are symbols that appear there on that pentagram or whatever. It's not a pentagram, it's um I don't know what you call um a seven pointed star. Is that what it is? Because seven is like the the holy number. don't think I'll be able to figure that out right now. Not on the fly. Not while my brain and, and mind is all occupied with thoughts about my previous haul of loot. So I'm not going through there, right? That's where I came from. Safe zone. So I'm going into the danger zone. Yeah, I, I, I emerged um, and just like left out the wrong way. So I want to be going back. At least I'm, I'm adding minutes to um, time I've survived. See, I just, um, I just wanted to leave through this door to get to all of my precious uh, belongings. See, not that hard. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that was just... I did nothing. That was a quick one shot. Try to get the hat there. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That's all the good stuff. And um, are we just going back now? I think we're just going back to the safe house. Let me just quickly check here. Uh, my cumbersome thing to navigate. Uh, get mission brief. Safe house. Going back to the safe house. Safe house to the safe house. I promise not to do that again. Mm, there we go. Jump on over to the safe house. See what's going on. Lambert, Westminster, Buckingham, Pimlico. James Bond Street, yeah, Covent Garden, Shadwell. It's just funny sounding names to me, I can skip. I'm good for skipping. I don't know, why would I not automatically skip there? Would I want to, to watch that little movie? 
to immerse myself in the notion that my character is traveling. Well, I'm looking at that screen over there. For now, though, I think this is the end of the first episode um, of Zombie. The British survival horror uh, zombie game, whatever. Shaun of the Dead, the game, because I have a cricket bat, right? It was a bit of a like rocky start. Sorry about that. It'll uh, get better, hopefully. I promise, kind of. But yeah, uh, it's going to be another video. Uh, maybe you'll join me, maybe you won't. I'll be there, having fun. Just uh, getting lost in this um, dystopian, apocalyptic... I guess this is not a future... So yeah, I guess this is clearly not set in um, present time. This is kind of a little bit in the past at this point. It's uh, it's going to be fun. Join me for the next video. Um, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I've been looking forward to it. Yes. See ya.